Hey guys, it's Kayla here. Talk. Um, it's CarCast. Or something. I don't know. Um, let's, let's talk. Let's talk about taking care of our gift from the universe. Our human body. Our <laughs> um, spiritual vehicle. Um, our just magical um, rejuvenating machine um, that this this human body that that we get to that our internal selves get to reside in during this life um, I these last two years have stirred up so much stuff um, a lot of the people in my circle have had to really um, do a lot of healing in the spiritual uh, soul sector. A lot of dark nights of the soul. A lot of um, you know mental health challenges. Oh hi, we're bouncing around here. See, hands free. I've got this great sticky thing on my window. So, um, yeah, we've been doing a lot of that work. Um, but along with this whole, I don't want to dwell on it too much, but this whole, you know, state of the world, um, our routines have changed and a lot of people have found that their physical body has, um, changed shape. I should not be chewing gum while recording. I'm sorry about that guys. Okay. So, um, let's talk about that. Um, there's a lot of people out there that think, you know, my way is the way for you to, you know, lose weight or to feel better in your body. You just have to love yourself or you have to eat only these things and exercise 17 hours a day. And, um, it's scary. Uh, I reached my heaviest weight ever in July, 2021, 2020, 2020. And um, I was like, how the F did this happen? <laughs> like out of nowhere. Um, but then I reflected back and I knew exactly how it happened. Um, and it happened gradually and it happened before the whole pandemic and lockdowns and all of that was a thing. It was already, I had already set the stage for it. Um, and then it was like blast off once things shut down. Um, but I want to I want to talk about not how to lose weight, um, but more so like mindset. If I'm stuck behind a garbage truck, oh god. Okay, I'm on my way to see my um, brand new nephew for the very first time. P.S. Very excited. Um, so anyway, more so about the mindset. Um, just about everyone in the last two years has known someone personally that has passed away or um, known someone who has lost someone who has passed away and um, for many different reasons and it's not just because of how the world is right now it's just the state of you know being alive and you know that guarantee that if you are alive that one day you will not be alive and I would say that my goal, more than anything else, with anything that I put on the giant world of the internet, my goal is that when it is time for you to exit, I'm really sorry, I hope the sound is okay. When it is time for you to exit planet Earth, um, or this incarnation, or this life, or whatever, um, that it is an easeful process is easeful word um i don't want you to spend two decades in pain before you die in a hospital bed after being on life support um i don't want you to think okay i'm 55 years old i'm too old to do those things we have this amazing machine in 500 meters turn left onto milborough line houghton regional road 24 we have this amazing machine that we get to do things with. And my goal 
is that you get to do as much as possible with it, that you get to feel joy and Turn left onto Millboro Line, Houghton Regional Road 24. Go to places and I will say like in the last year, I never realized how much joy was more accessible. In 600 meters, turn right onto Dairy Road, Houghton Regional Road 7. I have ever purchased or gone to in my life. Joy. I was out for a hike the other day, had my headphones on, was listening to fun music, there's no one around, so I went for a dance walk. I hopped around, I did some spins. Do you guys know, like, you know when you like grab a kid's hands and spin them around for the first time? Turn like, right onto Dairy Road, shit, Houghton Regional Road, road 7. Ever. I feel so good and they laugh and they smile. Why can't we do that? I went on the trail and I spun around a bit and it felt good and I smiled. Continue on Houghton Regional Road, um, 7 for 10 kilometers. Sorry, this is like, yeah, this is the least pro thing ever. I've got GPS running and things rattling. But man, like dance and spin and use your body. Like when I was healing my gut, I went back to, okay, what are baby's first foods after breast milk? That was the point I got to because I was reacting to everything. What are baby's first foods? So that's what I decided to go back to. I went to brown rice. I went to fruit. I went to um, like lightly steamed vegetables. I got really, really simple. So how about our bodies? Get on the floor and move your body. Put some music on. Dance. Take your shoes off. Um, something I say to my yoga, yoga students a lot is like, applaud yourself for showing up, getting in your bare feet, and getting your butt below knee height. Because there are a frightening amount of people in this world, adults, that cannot remember the last time they put their hips lower than their knees. If someone can get down on the floor and get back up again, like you're actually in a minority. It's crazy. So this is this vehicle, this human body. If you are on a journey to feel good in your body, don't do things because Mr. Dr. Blow, Joe Blow said, if you do these things, you'll lose 20 pounds. No, like do the things that feel good. I have some things that, that I do every day that I'm like, this might be torture for somebody. Um, I do like a dance workout or a hit workout or I started doing bar this week all online. I have a website I've subscribed to. Um, I do it because it feels good. I finish the workout, workout. I feel I, the, the, the play time and it feels good. I never, ever finish that and be like, no, I regretted that last hour ever, ever. I eat food that feels good. I buy fruit and vegetables I like. I don't force myself to eat things I don't like just because it's a superfood and it has X amount of nutrients and blah, blah, blah. No, I eat things that feel good. Um, if it's something that, you know, is high calorie or, you know, is not so great for me, I think about, okay, how is this going to make me feel tomorrow? Maybe I eat it. Maybe I don't. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I don't. Um, maybe I'm like, okay, well, you know, I could have that bag of chips, but maybe I'm going to have like some cucumber first or something like that, you know, making those shifts. I just, I'm trying to be so much kinder to myself. Um, if we can't like have fun and play, what have we got? Um, I love lifting weights. This is something I enjoy. I like keeping track of my progress. I keep track of my reps, my sets, my weight. Um, and I like trying to surpass those goals. I grew up in the like Game Boy and Nintendo age where, you know, high scores counted. So it's kind of like keeping track. I wear a fitness tracker all the time. I love the data. I go in the app, I see how many steps I did. I see, I'm always trying to surpass the previous and I treat it like a game. It's fun for me. 
what's not fun for me. Um, most of the time, team sports are not really fun for me. So I don't do them. And it, it involves organizing with other people. And, you know, sometimes it makes me feel shy or inadequate. So I don't do them. Some people, team sports is their jam. You know what I'm saying? Um, I just, I don't know. I felt this like I had to speak today. So I wanted to share this. I hope that this was helpful to somebody. Um, yeah. And honestly, this is, here's, I'm, this is going to be my last tidbit and then I'm going to go. Um, don't, not don't be ashamed. You know what? I challenge you to ask somebody for help with something, whether it has to do with your health or not. I don't care. This is like, I feel like this is a planetary lesson right now. Um, I challenge every one of you that is watching this. If you've made it this far, 11, 11. If you've made it this far, I want you to comment on the video below something that you are going to ask somebody for help with. Maybe it's unloading the groceries from your car. Maybe it's you don't know how to wrap presents for Christmas and you're going to ask somebody to help you. I encourage you and I want you to comment down below along with if there's anything else you gain from this video. But that is like, oh my God, what a gift that I have gained in the last couple weeks is learning to ask for help and also digging in why I felt so triggered asking for help. And a big part of it was growing up, I felt like if I asked for something that I owed something, I could never just ask for help or ask for something without feeling like, okay, what's going to be the expectation? What do I owe? What do I have in the beginning? Give an exchange. The exchange happens. Be a giving person. Think about if somebody came to you for help, that is like a gift. If somebody came to me and said, Kayla, can you, how did you lose those 10 pounds? Just because this is, you know, something we talk about. How did you lose those 10 pounds? Can you help me? I give a couple pieces of advice. Try these things. Write down what you eat for a week. Um, that alone, most of us have our own answers within. Um, you know, somebody comes to, uh, hey, can you help me? I, um, I don't know. I've never made soup before. Can you come over and help me? Because I've had your soup and it's good. Or I don't know. Whatever it is. But find something. Someone can, like, help you pick the best apple at the grocery store. Oh, brother, there's a turning lane and you're not in it. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys are doing amazing. I'm sure 13 minutes of me is more than enough. And um, yeah, if you like this, give me a little thumbs up and we'll talk soon. Okay, bye.